Thank you for purchasing the Titan Mobility Scooter. We've put together this short video to help you with its assembly and to make sure you get the very most out of your new Careco product. Your Titan Mobility Scooter should come fully boxed as seen here. Courier delivery straight to your doorstep is available from Careco. On this model, the batteries must be installed separately. In this video, we'll give you a detailed explanation of how to install your batteries. First, carefully cut the tape with a knife or a pair of scissors to open the box. Lift out and set aside the seat and armrests. Turn the dial on the bottom to unlock the tiller. Then lift it by the handset, then twist the dial again to lock the tiller in a fixed position. Lift out the front basket, then remove excess packaging to access the main scooter body. We don't recommend that you attempt to lift the Titan scooter without assistance, as it is heavy. To remove the main scooter body, instead, tidily cut the box open. Flick the red switch on the rear of the scooter to put it in free wheel mode. Then, simply push the scooter out of the box. You are now ready to assemble your scooter. Packaged with your front basket, you should find an instruction manual. Please keep hold of this, as it contains useful information on the assembly, basic maintenance and best use of your scooter. Packaged with the basket, you should also find a set of side mirrors, the battery charger and the ignition key. The front basket easily slots on the front of the tiller by sliding it onto the grooves provided. We will now show you how to install the wing mirrors. With each wing mirror, you should find a metal U-bracket, a plastic spacer, two nuts and a spring washer. Fix one of the nuts on the wing mirror until it is fully taut. Bend one of the plastic spacers to fit inside the metal U-bracket. Ensure the holes on each component line up. The plastic layer of the bracket will prevent scratches to the paint on the handlebar. With the mount clipped onto the metal of the handlebar, feed the wing mirror through the holes. Then screw the second nut onto the mirror. Secure the mirror in place by using a spanner. We will now show you how to install the batteries. For the following demonstration, we're using a Victory Pavement scooter. However, the method of battery installation shown here also applies to this model. First, lift off the shrouding on the back of the scooter. Here you will find two sets of cables that connect to the batteries. Disconnect these two cables by the red plugs and set the cables aside, one for each battery. This scooter requires two 12 volt, 34 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries. Once unboxed, remove the screws on either end of the battery to unlock the terminals. Make sure you keep the screws with their respective washers. Take a cable and push the rubber cover back to reveal the metal ring on the end. Now you can connect the cable to the battery. With the washers now realigned with the screw, feed the cable end under the handle and connect it to the terminal on top. Make sure the black end of the cable connects to the negative terminal and the red end is connected to the positive terminal. Connect the ring with the terminal using the screw and tighten with a spanner to make sure it's fully secure. When in place, push down the rubber cable cover to protect the terminal. Repeat this process with the other cable on the second battery. Once you have dropped the cable onto the battery, you are now ready to put them onto the scooter. Remove these Velcro straps, then carefully place the battery on the platform. Secure the battery in place using the Velcro strap. This will prevent the battery from moving around and becoming disconnected when driving the scooter over rough and rugged terrain. Remember to do this for both batteries. Join the two halves together, red to red and then black to black. Then the final part is to connect the batteries to the scooter by attaching the remaining black plug, which will make the scooter live. Prior to putting the shroud on, turn the ignition key to see if you have power and pull the wigwag or throttle. A green light will come on if you have power and you can see how much charge is in the batteries on the battery gauge. Once this is done, drop the shrouding back into place. Now it's time to insert the padded seat. Remove any plastic wrapping and drop the seat onto the post. Use the underside lever on the left to swivel the seat from side to side or to lock it in a fixed position. Use the handle on the right to bring the seat closer or further from the tiller. Finally, clip the headrest onto the top of the seat. Now you can attach the armrests. 
twisted these dials on the rear of the seat to clear the slot. Then slide the armrests into place. Once you have found a comfortable seat width, twist the dials again to secure the armrest. Repeat this process on both sides. The height of the armrests can also be adjusted using the small dials on the rear. Your scooter is now fully assembled and ready for use. We ask that you please keep all packaging safe and secure in the dry just in case you need to return the item. For more information about the Titan Mobility Scooter, simply visit careco.co.uk, pop into one of our showrooms, or give us a call. Thanks for watching. Take care.